Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. Why'd you say so slow? <laughs> Are you trying to lull me into taking a nap? <laughs> it is Monday. It's April the 18th. It's National Animal Crackers Day, which, gotta tell you, they're really animal cookies. Who doesn't love animal crackers? If you put animal crackers in soup, you'll find out that they're not crackers. They're animal (laughs) cookies. But it's National Animal Crackers Day today, National Columnist Day today, and National, and I know several columnists, hats off to you, love what you do, Uh, National Lineman Appreciation Day, and I got to say, that is an amazing, amazing field. Without linemen, we would all be sitting in the dark, so hats off to the linemen who... Uh, and line women, if that's a thing too, but it's called National Lineman Day. But I mean, people who have chosen to work in that field, wouldn't you say that's a pretty important thing? It's huge. Absolutely. And it is a movie star Monday. We've got friend of the program, Alex Ponovic, joining us today. He's been on, this will be, I think, time number three. Going to talk about a new series called Gen Zeros. I'm excited to chat about this. It's coming up. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. What would you say is the uh, most common reason for not getting a good night's sleep? Stress. Well, they say the biggest cause of a restless night's sleep include feeling stressed. Yep. Fretting over finances and the temperature not being right in the room. I've had that that before. That is true. Uh, a study of 2,000 adults found 38% suffer from poor sleep because of an uncomfortable mattress. 36 complain of their partner's... Snoring sleep can also be distributed, uh, disturbed rather by distributed, no, disturbed by traffic noise, light coming through the window, and caffeinated drinks before bedtime. Mobile phones are also a culprit with social media blamed by 14%, video games by 12%, and reading on devices by 13 18% say their sleep pattern have worsened since the start of the pandemic, perhaps due to more anxiousness and worry. They say uh, their quality of sleep has improved. Some have, possibly because they invest more time in their bed now rather than going out and doing stuff. Okay. So, all right. Never thought of that. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? A company claims to have developed the world's first wearable air conditioning collar. Yeah, it's going to look great. (laughs) There are other wearable cooling systems, but they only circulate ambient air. The makers of the uh, Matura Pro say their product uses a portable cooling solution to produce genuinely cold air that is 18 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius cooler than uh, the warm air that you have all over you. Has a small motor linked to a fan in the back, dissipates some of the warm air around your neck. The device has a dedicated app and relies on artificial intelligence to regulate air temperature. The Mitura Pro wearable cooling collar is powered by a fast-charging battery that can last up to 18 hours on a single charge. I cannot imagine a need for that. Yeah, well, if you get hot, it'll cool you Uh off. That's That's the amazing that's the need all right we don't know everything but now we know this silly thing thanks for listening to the john and heidi show john and heidi. now big screen little screen brought to you by channel surfer tv.com walt and jesse are coming back after years of fielding questions about an appearance by the breaking bad characters on the prequel better call saul amc has confirmed that brian cranston and aaron paul will be back in some capacity in the upcoming final season Co-creators of the program kind of spilled the beans early, uh, but now Better Call Saul premieres today, the 18th of April. 
but it's going to be split into two parts the final season. So isn't that really like two seasons? Our son loves this show. He does. He's second half is going to debut in July. Does not say if they'll be in the first half or the second half, but sometime. Vin Diesel just dropped news about the latest F10 cast member for the latest Fast and Furious. They have 10 of those now. Uh, Captain Marvel herself. I, and I haven't seen a single one. Brie Larson. I haven't either. Just talked about that. That I, I saw like part of one. Um, anyway, and uh, I've got more information on that story in the show notes. And one last thing, Simon Cowell says he looked something like something out of a horror film after going a bit too far with facial filters. He was messing around and he said it did not look good. <laughs> I've got more stuff in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com the headline of this little article here is called it's a dude thing now i don't know about that but that's what it's called they say you might know gi joe was called an action figure that's because hasbro knew parents would not buy a doll for their son other products given the man treatment yogurt the makers of powerful yogurt made the claim that their Greek yogurt was packed with protein that would help tone a man's abs. Ah. (laughs) The packages were black with pictures of a bull on them. (laughs) All right. Um, Diet soda is another thing on here that says it has retrieved the man treatment. Research showed that the word diet was seen as a feminine word, so companies came up with a creative way to pitch low-cal sodas to guys. Can you think of any, Heidi? No. Uh, How about Coke Zero? It's in a black uh, Okay, yeah, can. black How label. About Pepsi Max. Now okay. so it's, oh, it's, it's more. It's awesome. Uh, Dr. Pepper 10, only 10 manly little calories. Uh, Spanx came up with a product for men. They didn't want to call it that, so they call it a <laughs> compression shirt. Yeah. I need to get one of those. I would look like a muffin. You do but not need to get one of those. It. And uh, Yoga, a company in Boston, started a thing called Broga. It's like yoga, but it's for guys. Okay. Okay. And then shower accessories. Uh, to get men to buy bath products, Axe came up with a detailer shower tool set. So it's like something you use to clean your car, but it's you in the shower <laughs> cleaning you. So they say the plastic black ring kind of looked like a truck tire. One side had a red sponge. Uh, the other had a piece of black nylon mesh. So I don't ever remember seeing that. I don't um, either. But that's not the kind of thing. I notice women have like 97 bottles. You do. You got a lot of bottles going on. You got a lot of bottles. I've got one. Mine's got uh, shampoo. It's got conditioner. It's got body wash. It's got something you can use to get grease off your hands. You clean the driveway. (laughs) You can also, you know, polish all kinds of stuff. I don't know. it's, It's all in one bottle. It is all in one. Pretty handy stuff. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit back to the program, Mr. Alex Ponovic. We've talked to him about a bunch of fun stuff in the past, but this new thing I'm excited to chat about. I get to learn about it myself. It's an NFT series called Gen Zeros. Alex, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. So good to be back on your show. Well, we're excited to have you back. Now, you got to tell me what, first of all, I've been hearing like in the news and in the media about NFTs. This is kind of a new thing, and you're doing an NFT series, Gen Zeros. Is this the first NFT series there is, or, or is this something that's already out there? It's actually the first live action NFT series. There's been some animated series that are out there, but we were the first one to decide to do it as a live action. And and, and it all started with a company called House of Kiba, and they dropped, and they're an NFT company, and they dropped 10,000 of these very unique, each each one is very unique robots. And, you know, they had a really great Discord, a really great community of about 8,000 people because 
they've done other NFT drops. And uh, they're actually doing a land sale right now in the metaverse. And believe me, this is stuff that I'm just learning. So I'll be I'll be right with you on that whole aspect of learning NFTs. I'm just getting my head around it. But what they did was because of the success of those 10,000 uh, NFTs that they dropped, in 40 minutes they made $6.2 million. And they sat back and went, okay, look, we need to give the community more because they ob- obviously gave us this because they were excited about it. So let's take that money and make a TV show. Um, so they approached me, Neil Stevenson more pro- approached me, asked me if I could pull together a show based on the backs of these robots. So I brought in um, Jeremy Smith and Matt Venables, who I worked with for five years on Van Helsing, and they were producers and writers. And we got along so great. And I went, these are, these are the perfect guys to get the idea of the NFT and what we're trying to do. And, and at the bottom line, it's all about content and story. And they built an amazing mythology story based on these, on the back of these robots. And so, um, the NFT aspect comes into it because we do like a five minute character building, um, character building scene with the characters that we've gotten some amazing actors which bleeds right into a comic book and the comic book is about the fight scenes is about like the massive scenes that you would shoot that you would need like 200 million dollars to do but we really wanted to make the world so expansive so we pulled in some great comic book artists and they um they made this amazing comic book so we but it's a linear chronological t- storytelling so go, it bleeds right into the comic and then the comic bleeds right into the next um, live action episode for the other faction and we have ten factions and the story was built basically on um, right now in 2020 even though we just went through the pandemic well guess what aliens come and they basically ravage the earth and they're not looking to destroy it they're literally looking to pull all its resources, every piece of resource the Earth has, and it takes it with them. And there's docking stations with them um, so they can just pull up all the ocean, pull up all the ore. And all this is the first time the world came together at, with armies to try to fight these aliens. Whoever fought, lost. Whoever didn't fight and hit away, stayed. So during the next hundred years, we basically tried to build the world back and reverse engineer some of the alien technology that was left there. And as we were building together, as time goes on, people have different ideologies. So ten factions were built of different ways that people thought the world should be run. So in, in the year 2222, these factions are now warring against each other for power. I love this thing because it's based in the future, and it kind of feels pretty futuristic, and it's also really geared towards the audience. There was even one guy, all Rai guy is his name, on Discord, and he said, you know, why don't you put one of your band song in, because I used to play in a heavy metal band. And we looked around the room and said, yeah, why don't we put one of Alex's songs in there? Yeah. But just by the fan mentioning that, we did that for the show. So this is the kind of thing in the building community and artist-driven is what NFTs are all about, and it's so exciting. It really is. Alex, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it a bunch. Big love, man. Thanks for having me, as always. Absolutely. Again, our guest today, Alex Ponovic, NFT series Gen Zeros. I'll throw all the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In Portugal, it's considered rude to write in red ink. Huh. My teacher would have been in so much (laughs) Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cabbage was once considered an aphrodisiac. Does that do the trick for you? Ew, no. (laughs) That's a bizarre thing. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The verb unfriend first appeared in 1659. 
Really? So way before social media. Yeah, it was in a book way back then. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Was it, John? The word dude originated in the 1800s as an insult to men who were concerned with the latest fashion trends. Really? So if you were, you know, if you were uh, always looking dapper, they would call you a dude. Huh. And finally, people, I'm sorry, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? I forgot how we do this. <laughs> people who are currently alive represent about 7% of the total number of people who have ever lived. Only 7%. So 93% okay. of all people have died. Wow. I guess that makes sense. That is uh, several fun facts. Well, the last one was kind of weird. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Here's your question for today. Health experts say these should be washed at least two to three times a year. Although most of us don't come close to that. Sheets. What are they talking about? (laughs) You're kind of close. Pillows. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think sheets are supposed to be washed way more than that. But (laughs) at least you... (laughs) At least you didn't say underwear or something. <laughs> That'd be even worse. No, uh, I think uh, two to three times a year for your pillows. Have we ever washed our pillows? Do you do that? No, I don't wash my uh, pillows. I guess I I've, we wash the pillow case. Yeah. Is that what they're talking about? They're talking no, about the pillow. No, they're talking about the actual pillow. Huh, I didn't know you could wash a pillow. <laughs> you hey. can on my pillow. <laughs> can you? You I can. Know. I need to get out more often. All right, there you go. That is the question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel Group.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A 71-year-old romance novelist, Nancy Crampton Brophy, has authored nearly a dozen books. But it's a blog post that she wrote in 2011 titled How to Murder Your Husband that is now turning heads. More than a decade after writing it, she is now on trial for the murder of of her husband, Daniel. No way. The novelist wrote a piece for a writer's workshop. One of the passages reads, The thing I know about murder is every one of us have it in him or her when pushed far enough. At the beginning of the trial, the judge ruled that the blog post can't be used as evidence since it was written years ago and could cause unfair prejudice and confusion. The defense says they were a loving couple who cared about one another. So, yeah, but she huh. wrote a thing. It just seems very weird that you'd write that, and then it would happen. Yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, I don't know. It's so bizarre. Very weird. That's why it's today's Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. What are the odds, Heidi? What are the odds? Here's a rundown of the odds. <laughs> Being audited. One in 200, if you live in the U.S. The odds are one in 200. Uh, What are the odds of having twins? One in 250. So there you go. Uh, What are the odds of catching a foul ball? One in 835. That's pretty good. What are the odds of living to 100? One in 1,000. If you're a female born in 1990, that's what they're saying your odds are. So I don't know how they figured that exactly. What are the odds of being born on a leap day? Uh, February the 29th. One in 1,461. What are the odds of getting struck by lightning? One in 3,000. That's per lifetime, by the way. For, uh, the, uh, what are the odds of finding a four-leaf clover? One in 10,000. Heidi has one. I do. I just found that out like a month ago. Uh, what are the odds of being killed by a shark? One in 3.7 million. Whoa. What are the odds of being killed in a plane crash? One in 1 million. And what are the odds of winning a lottery? One in 88 quadrillion. Wow. Although people do it all the time. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Here's the quote for today, Heidi. It's from Joe Fox. Uh, If you ever saw the movie... You've got mail. Yes, I did. Uh, this movie. I wonder has, how I knew that name. Yeah, That's, he was that would played be by Tom Hanks in yep. the movie. He says, it's a long quote. Uh, the whole purpose of places like Starbucks is for people with no decision-making ability whatsoever to make six decisions just to buy one cup of coffee. Short, tall, light, dark, calf, decaf, low fat, non-fat. So people who don't know what they're doing or or who on earth they are can for two ninety five dollars get Two ninety five. Yeah, it's a while ago. Yeah. Get not just a cup of coffee, but an absolute defining sense of self. End quote. All righty. Yeah, so there you go. That is, uh, it was a good, that was a really cute movie. It was a cute movie. It was very, I very liked cute. that movie. It's called You've Got Mail, and it's from a long time ago, because that's back when everybody had a little thing that would say, you've got mail. Yeah. Now we all have mail. And back when coffee was time. apparently yeah. two ninety five. Yeah. It's before uh, Tom Hanks only played real people in every movie he's in. <laughs> it's your quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. We just talked a little bit ago about what are your odds of winning a lottery? And they were not good. No. But take a listen to this headline. Woman accidentally wins $10 million on a scratch off after a stranger bumped into her. California woman encountered a rude customer while buying scratch off tickets, ended up winning ten million dollars. Wow. La Quidra Edwards said she put forty dollars into a lottery scratcher vending machine at a supermarket in LA. She was about to start selecting which tickets she wanted. Some rude person bumped into her. What happened next? is too incredible to believe. The physical impact of the stranger bumping into her caused her to accidentally Hit the push the wrong button. number on the machine. Oh, man. Down dropped a $30 ticket that she had no intention of buying. Oh, man. She said, he bumped into me, didn't say a thing, just turned around and walked away. She was really irritated, not only because the person bumped into her, but also because... But she felt like she wasted her money she on spent a $30 She spent 75% of her lottery money right. on one ticket. She usually buys a bunch of cheaper tickets. Well, feeling didn't last long. Guys, time she got in the car, she scratched off the $30 ticket, and she realized, wow, I just won $10 million. That's amazing. Yeah. She said, I, I really didn't believe it at all at first, but I got on the 405 freeway, and I kept looking down at the ticket, and I almost crashed my car. Oh, my god! She said, I pulled over, and I looked at it again, and I, I scanned it with my California Lottery mobile app, and she said, I just kept thinking, this can't be right, but it was. And That's she won amazing. $10 million. Uh, I wonder if that rude person came forward and said, hey, that was me. I was the rude guy. You should give me some of that. Probably not. Wow. I bet they don't even realize they had a, a hand or a, a hip or a, a bump, whatever it was, in helping her select that. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.